received all A's and B's, earning more A's than B's, and satisfactory or better in all special classes, effort, and conduct, including unstructured time. Please come forward from Mrs. Likowski's sixth grade class, Sophia Elmazo, Francesca Avila, Nicholas Patreca, Julia Pranger, Sydney Witherspoon, from Mrs. Pepper's sixth grade class, Braxton Bailey, Mason Bateman, Nathan Hollingsworth, from Ms. Hans' seventh grade class, Autumn Keel, Jaden Lopez, Damari Lyons, from Mrs. Andrecki's seventh grade class, Marco Avila, Mariah Barnaba, Caleb Finn, Michaela Ogby, and Zoe Rumble. Congratulations. The next award, students in grades six through eight, most improved award. The following students have worked hard throughout trimester three. These students have gained both independence and confidence. Their hard work and perseverance is really evidenced by their overall achievement in all of their classes. Please come forward from Mrs. Lukowski's sixth grade, Leandra Zayas, from Mrs. Pfeffer's sixth grade, Brian Lewis, from Mrs. Hans, seventh grade, Rufinda Mann, and from Mrs. Andrecki's seventh grade, Gordon Jews. Congratulations. The next award is also for students in grades six through eight, and it is the Leadership Award. This award has been earned for consistently being a role model to peers and younger students, both inside and outside of the classroom. These students show initiative and will often step up to help without needing to be asked. A deep respect is shown to all adults, peers, and the school environment. Please come forward from Mrs. Lukowski's sixth grade, Sydney Witherspoon, from Mrs. Pfeffer's sixth grade, Nathan Hollingsworth, from Ms. Hans' seventh grade, Patrick Murphy, and from Mrs. Andrecki's seventh grade, Sophia Karolkowski. Congratulations. Also for students in grades six through eight, the next award is the Unity Award. This award has been earned for being a beacon of friendship and unity among their peers. These students have gone out of their way to include others and welcoming to all students. Their kind and outgoing nature has been an inspiration to their classmates. Please come forward from Mrs. Likowski's class, Sophia Almazo, Mrs. Pfeffer's sixth grade, Mason Bateman, Ms. Hans' seventh grade, Peter Ruiz, 
and Mrs. Andrecki, seventh grade, Clarice Bialik. Congratulations. Our next award is the Art Award. The following students have demonstrated excellent and unique skills in the area of art. Their sense of creativity and design is exceptional. Please come forward and congratulations to Clarice Bilek, Julia Harris, Sophia Karolkowski, Shariah Cage, Autumn Keel, Liliana Marineri, Leandra Zayas, Willa Laguero, Corey Ware, Nason Bateman, Sophia Wallace, Chloe Tay, Miles Mati, Chika Agwu, Serafina Sabatka, Rafael Andrade, Hirona Suho Neal, Olivia Williams, McKenna Pop, Alexander Menea, Jet Lee, Autumn Peoples, Bodie Lee, Jonathan Watts, and Miss Betty, if you will come up too to get into our picture with our students, we thank you. Congratulations, our Art Awards. Congratulations. We'd like to honor also and acknowledge our altar servers who have done a wonderful job throughout the year. Their faith commitment and dedication is truly commended. So please come forward to Emiliana Araya, Leandra Zayas, Luna Castro, Lily Rodriguez, and Father, if you'll step forward for a picture, that'd be great. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. students have served as a member of the St. Michael St. Clemens Student Council for the 2022-2023 school year. Their dedication and hard work to implement several outreach projects and themed activities for students is to be commended. Congratulations and please come forward as our third grade representatives, Aiden Branch and Charlie Watts. Our fourth grade representatives, Dexter Hip and Serafina Sabatka. From Mrs. Galuski's fifth grade, Chloe Tay and Joshua Condillis. From Ms. Finn's fifth grade, Caden Clark, Zoe Ella Ogby. 
from Mrs. Lukowski's sixth grade, Luna Castro and Jordan Diggs. From Mrs. Pfeffer's sixth grade, Jewel Paget and Madison Price. From Ms. Hans' seventh grade, Shabria Jackson, Peter Ruiz, and from Mrs. Andrecki's seventh grade, Teddy Capinos and Sophia Karolkowski. Congratulations. Our next acknowledgement of thank you is for our safety patrol. The following students have done a wonderful job this year. Their dedication and hard work in keeping our schools safe and orderly is to be commended. And again, whether it was rain or we didn't get much of the snow, but the rain, they were out there doing their job diligently. So we thank the following students. Please come forward. Liliana Marinari, Jordan Ford, Autumn Keel, Delaney Colbreth, Michaela Williams, Liliana Sabatka, Sophia Karolkowski, Nevea Stevenson, Clarice Bialik, Ella Branch, Samuel Aginge, Patrick Murphy, Ryan Dasa, Noah McCauley, Joshua Richardson, Amir Peace, Peter Ruiz, Caleb Finn, Teddy Capinos, Mason Diamond, Jaden Lopez, Kamaya Hughes, Jasmine Carpe, Jade Washington, Hope Gross, Gordon Jews, Damari Lyons, Mackenzie Stewart, and Rafunda Mon. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Ms. Thayer, if you could come forward, please, as Mr. Kristoff can give one part out if you can help with the other part. Thank you so much. So the next awards that we will give acknowledge our Cheetah Chase which was fantastic this year, our fundraiser. There are donations still coming in, so thank you to parents, grandparents, loved ones, and students for making it so special for our school. So I will be announcing the highest lap student for each grade level, one boy and one girl from each, so please come forward when your name is called. From first grade, Mrs. Norse class completing 51 laps is Sean Carr. Completing 46 laps is Jade Jackson. In Mrs. Van Daniker's second grade homeroom, completing 58 laps is Troy Keem. Completing 52 laps is Adriana Helmick. In third grade, Ms. Cool's homeroom, Completing 58 laps, Aiden Branch. Completing 56 laps, Madeline Clamp. In Mrs. Cahigas's fourth grade, completing 60 laps, 
is Rafael Andrade. Completing 55 laps is Serafina Sabatka. In Mrs. Godlewski's homeroom, completing 58 laps is Mason Carr. Completing 48 laps is Ivana Bonilla. In fifth grade, Mrs. Finn's homeroom, completing 55 laps is Lennon Roten. Completing 45 laps is Sophia Wallace. In Mrs. Likowski's sixth grade, completing 53 laps, Liam Soberano. Completing 51 laps, Kara Hoffman. In Mrs. Pfeffer's sixth grade, completing 64 laps is Mason Bateman. Completing 51 laps is Madison Price. In seventh grade, Ms. Hans class, completing 77 laps, which was the most in the entire school, Cash Roundtree. Completing 74 laps, Liliana Sabatka. In Ms. Andrecki's class, completing 64 laps, Marco Avila, and completing 52 laps, Kamaya Hughes. Congratulations, lap winners. Congratulations, thank you very much. The following students raised the highest amount of money for the annual Cheetah Chase 2023. Congratulations, this student raised $1,000. Our top fundraiser is Sophia Wallace, and in second place, raising $430, is Aiden Barrowi. Congratulations, please come forward. Thank you, congratulations. Our next award is for our Cheetah Recognitions for Trimester 3. The following students have been recognized throughout the entire trimester three. Please come forward and thank you and congratulations to Santino Centron, Isabella Serafino, Bodhi Lee, Zonder Pageant, Ava Branch, Aiden Branch, Hunter Brennan, Colt Carnell, Madeline Clamp, Caleb Cole, Gracelyn Conway, Psalm Foot. Ms. Van Daniger, if you could come up, that would be great and help. Um, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. Cole Finn, Corbin Johnson, Shania Kamani, Nason Martin, William Middleton, Kobe Parks, Layla Roden, Anthony Sacco, Lee.
Lamont Sparkman, Michaela Thompson, Charlie Grace Watts, Olivia Williams, Chica Agu, Emiliano Araya, Francesca Avila, Braxton Bailey, Mason Bateman, Clarice Bialik, Aiden Barrowi, Lydia Coburn, Delaney Culbreth, Mason Diamond, Ryan Dasa, Jude Eberianwu, Sophia Ellison, Haley Amala, Caleb Finn, Cody Ginsky Marinblum, Paul Hart, Nathan Hollingsworth, Kamaya Hughes, Riley Johnson, Autumn Keel, Andrew Capinos, Teddy Capinos, Layla Lewis, Miles Mati, Norman Morgan, Declan Mutafis, Sarah Murdoch, Patrick Murphy, Ryan Ocampo, Zoe Ella Ogby, Julia Pranger, Madison Price, Amir Peace, Liam Soberano, Ryan Talby, Chloe Tay, Sophia Wallace, Jade Washington, and Anna Williams. Congratulations. All right, boys and girls, we have one last award, and this is from the uh, Catholic War Veterans. Uh, it was a middle school project where the uh, students wrote a patriotic essay, and I know that uh, the students have been anxiously awaiting their award. So when I call your name, please come up. We'll start with third place, and actually, Dr. Evans, if you're here, you can accept for Gabrielle Manning. Congratulations, Gabrielle. Chris, you want to give them? And second place got a money prize as well, so that's exciting. Dr. Evans, don't spend it, please. Give it to her. Second place, uh, Lily Marinari, come on down. And I wonder who first place is, which she probably already knows. Clarice Bilek, come on down.
Congratulations. Well done. Um, before we go on honoring a few people, um, there is a very special person here that we could not do without every Mass that we have here who sets everything up for us, whether it's graduation or anything we need, she's here for us. So, Miss Mary German, if you'll stand and turn around, we'd like to thank you so much for everything you do for us. Thank you, thank you. Ms. Grauer, okay. Um, at the end of the year, we always like to acknowledge those teachers or staff members or administration who may be um, not returning next year. They're moving on to different ventures in their lives. So I'd like the following um, teachers and administration to come forward, please. Um, Ms. Terry Tartle, who has been our pre-K-4 assistant, if you will step forward, please. Ms. Terry. <laughs> Ms. Betty Walkie, who is our art teacher. <laughs> Mrs. Linda House. If you will come forward, please. And Mr. Paul Crystal. Good morning, everyone. As we get ready to finish our school year, we've come together to honor four very special people in our lives. Great principals, teachers, and teaching assistants are rare to find, and we have been blessed to have had these four wonderful people with us. They're moving on to pursue other great opportunities in life. Words cannot express how blessed we are for having had you with us. People like you remind us how much God cares about us, and we want to thank you for being the very best. May God's blessings and protection continue to be with you. Mrs. Terry Tartle. Mrs. Tartle has been an amazing teacher assistant, and teacher assistants like you are rare, and what's rare is precious, so you are a gem. You've been with us for 30, how many? 16, oh my God, I thought we were over in pre, and God's little people for longer. Oh, okay, we made you learn. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, she began working with three and four-year-olds and God's little people many years ago. When St. Michael's and St. Clement's merged, Mrs. Tartle began working with Mrs. Greensfelder as her teaching assistant. She's the sweetest person who has helped many of us that are in church right now to build their personality, taught us how to make friends and be kind and compassionate with others. Mrs. Tartle, you always went above and beyond to bring out the best in all of us. Your patience and kindness have made your students feel safe and loved, and you encouraged them to explore new things. Right now, we're going to do exactly as you taught us to do when someone does something nice for you. Say thank you. Thank you for helping to make us what we are. You make the world a better place for everyone, and you never fail to express God's love in whatever you do. You will be missed. <laughs> Miss Betty, there is no one quite like a special teacher, a special teacher, and you are a special teacher to all of us. Miss Betty came to us six years ago. I must say I've never worked with a more inspiring and creative art teacher. We are so incredibly grateful that the students got to have an exceptional teacher such as you. Your energy and enthusiasm for teaching art has made learning fun and engaging. We will always cherish your exciting classes and enthusiastic lessons. We wish you an, an enjoyable and incredible next journey. Mrs. Linda House, we will always remember Mrs. House for helping us with masses, making sure readers were ready and felt at ease. Mrs. House also worked with a great group of kids who are part of the Children of Mary. Her love of the Blessed Mother shone through all of her work with our students. Her heart and soul went into her teachings. Mrs. House, your passion for teaching and dedication to your students is truly inspiring. Thank you for guiding and inspiring them. Thank you for sharing your love, knowledge, and wisdom with gentleness, patience, and concern for your students. 
We wish you a happy future. Mr. Paul Christoph, he came to St. Michael's nine years ago. We had downsized to one building at St. Michael's and we were feeling a bit low. In came Mr. Christoph and immediately began working to improve morale for the students and the teachers. He painted, swept floors, vacuumed rugs, brightened things up. He continues to do those things today. He has always been a hands-on principal, rarely in his office, but always moving around the school. You never know where he might be found. When St. Michael and St. Clement schools merged, Mr. Kristoff took it all in stride and continued to push everyone to be the best they could be. Mr. Kristoff, words cannot describe how blessed we have been to work beside you these past years. You have made a huge difference in our lives and you will remain forever in our hearts. You have inspired us by your vision and motivation. You were our guiding light when things got dark. You are one of the pillars that held St. Michael, St. Clement up. Your leadership has been inspirational and your time here a true gift. You have left a legacy that will be cherished forever. Thank you for your years of selfless service. May you be blessed with tremendous blessings as that's what you deserve. You would just stay, we have some gifts for you. We have some gifts for our teachers. We had to get Santa Slay to bring Mr. Kristoff's items in. There's so many here. Um, Mr. Kristoff, the students um, have shared their love for you through cards, and I'm sure you and your family will enjoy looking those over on the weekend. Also, each student signed a yearbook there for you, so you have their signatures on hand to, to come with love. We really appreciate it. And um, also, um, as many of you may or may not know, the urban garden that we have at St. Michael St. Clemens School was initiated by Mr. Kristoff. In the years since it has been installed, it has become a happy place. If he's ever having a rough day or just needs a break from the hustle and bustle of the office, Mr. Kristoff can be found watering and tending to the various produce that is now grown in our garden. So, in honor of Mr. Kristoff and his dedication, not only to our urban garden, but to all of the faculty, staff, students, and families of St. Michael St. Clement School, we now dedicate and rename the garden to the Paul Kristoff Urban Garden. A plaque with your name will be made and will be placed for years to come. And this is a picture of your garden. Um, I'd like to say throughout my years of teaching and being an administrator, I have worked with many, many principals. Mr. Kristoff is by far the best, as Ms. Grauer mentioned. It's like, where's Waldo? You never know where Mr. Kristoff is. He is the type of principal that does not work just solely behind a desk. He might be mopping up a leak that we have, or he's running to Costco to get snacks and water for an event. Um, he is everywhere. He's in the classrooms. He's out at recess with the students. He truly works from the heart, 150%. Um, you will be greatly missed, Mr. Kristoff, but you know we are your extended family, so we do expect you to come back and visit. Um, if you ever feel the need to run to BJ's or Costco for us, just give us a call. We'll be happy to, to make that happen. But you know you're always welcome here for everything. Your love for the students and your love for what you do on a daily basis 
is evidenced by your smile and your interaction. So God has chosen to put you here for a reason, and we thank him for that. So good luck on your journey. You'll always be with us in our hearts, and we totally love you. Wow, guys, that is amazing. Um, if you know me well enough, you know that I don't like to take credit for things. I always try to like deflect it. So this is, uh, is way overwhelming, and I do appreciate it. Um, this school has been the love of my life for nine years. Uh, and now I'm going to get upset again. Stop it. Um, I've loved every minute of it. I promised uh, the seventh graders, and from here on out, it will be a graduation because i got to see you guys go to the next step. Um, I'm looking forward to those days, but I'm also really looking forward to sleeping in and not worrying about whether pipes are bursting and whether, <laughs> you know, the sinks are busted on the third floor or there's a leak or anything along those lines, because it'll be nice to just take a little break. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, guys, I will miss you. I love you. You will always be in my prayers, and thank you so much. So we have one last thing before uh, Father Hector gives us a little, are you, blessing or no blessing? We done? Oh, we're done. Yeah. Um, as Father Hector said during Mass, all of your intentions that he's given, first of all, I, it, I know he's staying, but I got to give uh, Father Hector a uh, high praise. Uh, you've been the best pastor I've ever worked for. Um, you truly love the kids and you love it, so I'm going to miss that. But yes, we will stay friends and we'll be in touch. But so with, with Mass, he spoke about uh, the intentions, and at the end of the year, which I think is a wonderful thing, uh, we're going to actually burn them out front. So if you think of like the spiritual part of the smoke going up to the heavens, so your um, intentions are going to be uh, sent right to heaven. So if you, as we leave the church, if you just be really careful where the uh, fire pit is, because I think it's probably right out front. Just keep like a 10-foot window around it so that we don't get anywhere near it. So thank you. <clears throat> So for all of you here today and for your families, just please know that during this vacation time, you will still in my prayers. I wish you a wonderful time. I will be here all by my own, but I, I, I hope that you pray for me too. So have a blessed summer vacation. Please stand and let me give you a, one more blessing for your safety, for your happiness, for your every possible good wish and all the prayers in this basket, that the Lord answer them uh, and see uh, that you can see his grace coming upon you and your families. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you and your families and keep you always in his loving care. Have a wonderful vacation. Bye. We have a farewell prayer for our four teachers and principal that are leaving. If you could just stay standing, that would be fine. Lord God, thank you for the extraordinary love, commitment, and creativity that these wonderful teachers have given this school. Thank you for the way they have served us and given out so much to the children we care for. We pray that they go on to find new treasures each day and that the blessing of Christ will be upon all that they do forevermore. We are appreciative of their hard work and dedication. They have adapted to so many changes over the years and have made sacrifices of their personal time when the job demanded it. They have been mentors and friends to their fellow teachers and have worked faithfully despite their own personal obligations, joys, and challenges. We pray for your continued blessings on them during the next phase of their life. May your presence be with them as they choose new paths and explore new horizons. May they be blessed with strong networks of friends and family to enjoy the journey that lies ahead. Keep them vigorous in mind, body, and soul. Open new doors of service that will satisfy their desire to give and will make a lasting difference in our world. May they find receptive hearts and minds for the wisdom they have to offer and many recipients to receive their love and care. 
Today, we leave them with a blessing from the book of Matthew. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. And so we end our prayer thankful for what has been and grateful for what has yet to be. Amen. Thank you all. That concludes our Mass and award ceremony for the end of the school year. Thank you all. Thank you, visitors, parents, grandparents, and God bless.